Hey guys, welcome to the lecture on pharmacology. In this video, we'll be dealing with menopause and we'll be providing you with some treatments that are currently available. So let's begin. What is menopause? Menopause is clinically diagnosed in a woman who hasn't had menses for at least 12 months, and this is caused by the cessation of follicular development that is often seen in women as they age. Some of the symptoms that you see in menopause include hot flushes, atrophy of your genital organs like the vagina and the ovaries, cardiovascular diseases, and most importantly, osteoporosis. The treatments for menopause are relatively simple. We can either give them estrogen by itself, or we can provide them with a combination of estrogen and progestins, or we can give them raloxifene. We don't normally give patients estrogen by itself because it it's been known to uh, increase the risk of developing endometrial cancer and ovarian cancer. The reason for that is because estrogen causes hyperplasia in these tissues. And that's the reason why we only give estrogen by itself in patients that have undergone hysterectomy. More commonly, we'll give them a combination of estrogen and progestin. The reason is because progestin is able to actually limit the amount of hyperplasia in these tissues and therefore decrease the risk of developing endometrial and ovarian cancer. It, however, still increases the risk of developing breast cancer, but it's also been shown in recent studies to decrease the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Finally, we can give uh, these patients raloxifene, which is a specific estrogen receptor modulator. Now, the most important thing about this drug is that it does not carry the risk of developing cancer. The reason being that raloxifene is specific for the bone and the cardiovascular system. And interesting enough, raloxifene actually behaves just like uh, estrogen in the sense that it actually improves the lipid profiles in these women. So that basically sums up our little lecture on menopause. I hope you found it useful. And just like always, if you have any other questions, please post them in the comment below and we'll try to answer you as quick as we can. In our next video, we'll be dealing with uh, breast cancer, and more specifically, we'll be dealing with ER positive breast cancer. So look forward to that, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.